Hello, 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 everyone. This is Dr. Danelle Dixon, Performance Plus Physical Therapy. This is Q&A with Dr. D. I hope everyone is doing well. I was going to get you waited on IG here. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. It is Tuesday, so it is a really... And these days are merging together for me, guys. I, I wonder if it's going the same for you guys. Drop a comment in here if you feel that you are, if you are live, please type live so I know that you're listening to me in real time and I can tell you hi. Um, but I hope that um, everyone is doing really well, all right? Um, today's topic, guys, we are talking, this is the week that I am talking about all things back, everything to do with the lumbar spine and with the back. And today's topic, we're talking about the common causes of lower back pain. All right. For those guys that are listening, type live, shoot me a, a little bit of a wave. Let me know that you're here and you're listening. Um, same for you guys that are on IG. Okay. So guys, there are many different um, causes of lower back pain. Um, lower back pain, as I'd mentioned before, is probably one of the most common um, afflictions that you would get. Just about anywhere between 60 to 80 percent of people are going to experience lower back pain at some point in time. And just like with any other part of the body, there are multiple things that can cause lower back pain. All right. So I'm going to go over in my mind the top five lower back diagnoses that I usually see that is very common with people that I come into contact with with my clinic and that are common diagnoses and things that you would encounter in terms of uh, a diagnosis. What exactly is causing your back pain? OK, this is not an extensive list. Of course, there are multiple, multiple things, as you know, in the medical world, there are multiple things that can go wrong. So just bear in mind that this, if you have a description as I'm going through these things, this is not an exhaustive list. It may describe what you may be feeling. You do want to get some professional eyes on you to make sure that you have the right diagnosis and therefore you know the right thing to do. That's very, very important. OK, so. Top five things that can be causing pain. I'm gonna go through a couple of lists here. So the first thing is a strain. And a strain is really um, an injury to the muscle. So if that muscle for some reason is affected, you would have what we call a strain in your lower back, okay? The back muscles are really important in terms of not only stabilizing the spine, but also moving the spine in all different directions, front, back and forth, side to side, and also rotation. If any of those muscles groups are strained, then you would have a lower back strain. That's one common um, thing that happens. This happens a lot with people who are exercising a lot, who are lifting heavy loads a lot. If you're doing a lot of heavy lifting, specifically with improper mechanics, this is a very, very common thing that can happen, okay? Second thing that is very common to happen with lower back pain is something called a strain. And a strain is an injury to the ligaments of the spine. Spine. If you look at the anatomy of the spine, um, you will see that the spine is really made up of vertebrae or individual segments that are stacked one on top of the other. And in between those segments, the things that is responsible for holding those segments together are something called ligaments, which is kind of like a ropey, tough material that holds bones together. Okay. Those ligaments sometimes can get sprained, again, depending on the mechanism of injury. And you can go from anywhere from having a little bit of a twinge in your back to really be in very much incapacitated. It all depends on what has been going on, okay? So when you have an injury to that ligament, that, that, that structure that holds those bones together and stack them one on top of the other, you can have what we call a lumbar strain. So if you see that diagnosis, that's where that's coming from. The third thing that is a very common cause and source of lower back pain is basically what I'm going to call nerve pathology. And nerve pathology really refers to anything that's affecting the nerves. The nerves can be affected in a multiple different ways, many different ways. Okay. You can have anywhere from a pinched nerve. You can have something that we call in, in medicine called radiculitis, which is basically some sort of inflammation of that nerve that calls what we call radicular symptoms. Or you could have a radiculopathy, which is 
a true clear clinical diagnosis of radiculopathy of radicular symptoms. To talk a little bit more about what radicular pain is. Radicular pain, guys, is basically when you have pain that's originating from one source, but it manifests itself in a different location. And you guys may have very much commonly experienced that. If you've hit your elbow at one point and felt tingling in your fingers, that's an example of radicular of ridiculous symptoms. You have, you have an injury at your elbow, but you're feeling your symptoms is somewhere else. So with nerves, when they do get compressed, what you do find happening is that once that compression happens, it starts manifesting itself in different places. So with lumbar spine um, nerves, if there's some sort of compression or some sort of pinch that's happening to those lumbar segments um, all the way from the bottom to the top of the lumbar spine, you can have symptoms that not only radiate towards your back, but lower down to your legs. So typical um, presentations for that is numbness and tingling down the legs. You can sometimes have weakness in those muscles that those nerves run to, and also a change in sensation. That is very, very common. So a lot of people may describe, you know, I just have like tingling and numbness in one area, and then I don't feel any sensation of that stuff. And if things get progressive in terms of there's a lot of compression over time, if there's a, lo a lot of compression or prolonged um, compression over time, you can start getting weakness and change in your muscular function. And that is a classic presentation of radiculopathy. So basically it starts as, as back pain, but it does start progressing and getting into the, um, the path of the nerves in terms of what, where those nerves innovate. Um, and that is where nerve pathology can actually cause back pain. Um, a fourth common one that we encounter a lot of is something called stenosis. So stenosis basically means a narrowing of the canal. And if you look at, um, if you look at your anatomy of the spine, you will see that there's something called a foramen or a spinal canal. This is where the spinal cord runs through. And then there's smaller foramen that are responsible for housing the nerves. When those holes get a little bit smaller, they actually start compressing on those nerves and that can cause pain over time, okay? Again, it usually starts with lower back pain, but then it can progress just like with the nerve pathology that I just described, where you are having pain and numbness and tingling going all the way down your legs. Very, very common, okay? And the last one that I wanted to cover is something called disc pathology. And the disc it refers to your lumbar spine disc. So between each of those stacked vertebrae, you're going to find that there's a little bit of a space in between there where there's a, a disc. And that disc is just basically kind of like a fluid filled sac, so to speak, that gives you a little bit of um, protection of the spine itself. And it's also responsible for right, really absorbing a lot of the force, specifically with compressional forces. When, as, those, as you get older, those, the material that actually comprises the disc changes over time. So you would find that there's, it changes, it gets a little bit more viscous in nature, and it doesn't have that protective nature as it used to before. So very common things that can happen is you can have a herniated disc, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard before. Herniated disc re re um, refers to some sort of injury to that disc where it's actually torn or it's actually bulging out, okay? Either one or the other. And you've probably also heard of degenerative disc disease, and that refers to the changes in the disc properties that happens over time that influences how much of a cushion it's able to adequately do and prevent um, a lot of compression mechanical forces across the spine. Okay, so those are your top five guys. And again, this is not an extensive list. You will find that over time, um, you will hear a lot more different pathologies, but these are the ones that are probably most common and are probably gonna encompass a lot of the things that you may encounter. So again, you can start with the muscle strain, okay? You can have a sprain of the ligaments of the spine. You can have nerve pathology where you have some sort of injury to the nerves themselves. You can have stenosis where you have narrowing of the canals that house the nerves or house the spinal cord. And then you can also have problems with the disc. Okay, which is responsible for some of the um, attenuating some of the compressive forces of the spine. All of these things can can produce back pain to some degree. So it's really important, guys. I really want to emphasize here. It's really, really important with all of the array of choices of diagnoses that can happen. It's so important for you to get professional eyes on you so that you understand exactly what is causing your pain, and then you know exactly the right thing that you can do to help your pain. So I hope that was really helpful for you guys to go over some of the common causes. People like to understand 
what is causing my pain, what is the thing, and understanding more about your diagnosis is going to put you in a better place to not only be able to prevent further injury, but also to take care of it the best that you can, because you guys are with you all the time. I am with you guys in terms of treatment, maybe an hour or two in terms of your medical providers. So it is important for you guys to have a working knowledge and understanding of all of these diagnoses or your specific diagnosis in order for you to get through your rehab and to get through your treatment well. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I'm just gonna check really quickly for the comments to see if we have any comments. Anyone has any comments, please drop a comment below. If this was helpful for you or if you have any specific questions, let me know. I'm gonna check here very quickly. And it seems that we are good, guys. If this was helpful for you and you know someone with lower back pain that this may help, please click like, please click share, please share this out. Um, and I will be here back here tomorrow talking more about back pain. Guys, coming up on Thursday, yet to confirm, but I'm pretty sure it's coming up. Um, I'm going to have a very special guest with me that I'm very excited for you to share with you guys. And this guy is going to be here here to treatment text for the spine from a different medical perspective. So I hope and you guys can join me for that, okay? So hope everything is well again. Drop some likes in there, share this out if this can be helpful for someone that you know and you care about. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, bye-bye.